CodeKit has many PostCSS plugins built in, but if you'd like to use one that's not, that's easy to do. For example, here in this CSS file, I have a size rule, and I'd like to use a plugin that automatically translates this line into width and height, so I don't have to type out both all the time. There's a plugin for PostCSS that gives you that and many other shortcuts, and the first step is to switch to the packages area in CodeKit and install that plugin called PostCSS-Short. You can search for it here in the field. This will place the plugin and all of its dependencies into the node modules folder within the project itself so that CodeKit can find it and run that plugin. Next, all I need to do is create a postcss.config.js file, also in the root folder of my project, and switch to that file and then add the name of the plugin I want to run to this plugins array here. So post CSS short, I'll save the config file, and then back in my CSS file, I can save it or just click process in CodeKit, and I'll see that now that transformation happens and width and height get automatically created for me. If I switch to the log, CodeKit will report the chain of plugins that it ran. In this case, only one. Integrating your custom post CSS plugins with those built into CodeKit is also easy. For example, on my style sheet, I've enabled auto prefixer and I've added a user select rule to the CSS. In the compiled output, we can see that auto prefixer ran and my custom post CSS plugin ran. If I switch to the log, CodeKit will report the order that the plugins ran. Your custom plugins always go at the beginning of the list. Any that are built into CodeKit itself will come last. You can control that, however. For example, if I want auto prefixer to run first, all I need to do is switch to my post CSS config file and add auto prefixer to the beginning of the plugins array. Note that I do not need to install auto prefixer into the project via the packages area. CodeKit will find the copy of auto prefixer that's built into the app. Now, if I save that config file and then switch to my CSS and save that, now we can see that CodeKit runs auto prefixer first and then my custom post CSS plugin. Although in this case, the output is identical. The standard way of structuring a post CSS config file is to pass an array of plugin names inside require statements like this. Sometimes, however, you need to pass options to one or more plugins, so an alternative exists. Make plugins an object and fill it with key value pairs, the plugin name paired with an object of options to use when running that custom plugin. CodeKit will honor these options and run them just as you specified here. There is one exception, however. If you add a plugin that is built into CodeKit, don't supply custom options in the config file. For example, if I want auto prefixer to run first, I'll add it to the list, but I'll supply just an empty object here. The reason is that CodeKit will overwrite any options I specify here with the values for auto prefixer options from the app's UI. If I'd like to adjust those options for auto prefixer, I can go to project settings, select auto prefixer, and change them right here. 